And we're back in the happy land of the Rook Islands in Far Cry 3. I, since last time, I may have cheated a little bit and bought a few skills. Not nothing too essential, though, just a bit of first aid and the ability to. I don't know anymore. Screw it, let's get going. Now, today we have to travel to Dr. Earnhardt's place, but first I'm going to go and do a side mission because side missions are awesome. And because Earnhardt's is a very boring trek. And we might as well have something vaguely productive done in this uh, little episode. So let's drive on over to the assassination point, which is actually very nearby. I didn't really need to drive, but the car will come in handy later, so screw it. As you can see, just the yellow bit on the, on the radar there, we are coming up to the assassination point. It's just hidden behind some vines. I'm just going to park the car in this bush for stealth purposes. Let's head up here and get a little look out on the situation. Right, we've got one, two, three, there's our target in the yellow. I believe, oh, there's a fourth man down there. Oh shit, they're spotting us. Right, we should probably head somewhere where they can't see us. Maybe in the bamboo, perhaps? Yeah, that'll work. I like that they've actually added Stealth, well, Bush is being a vaguely helpful stealth mechanic as opposed to in Far Cry 2 where there were just nothing, enemies could see you instantly, and oh shit, he's seen us, but he's now down, couldn't call the others, so jobs are good. They kind of appear in a, in a little pathway of assassinations and takedowns here, so let's follow that pathway right up to Mr. Yellow here. Dun 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 dead. And that's the big guy taken down. We now have the mission completed. You have to do it with a knife, which is just an added feature they put in and final guy, because what the hell, right? And let's collect a few plants. But you have to take them down with a knife because it's the way of the racket. And also because if not people will just fire a rocket from a mile away and then keep going or use a a sniper rifle of some sort. Oh, it's particularly the explosive sniper rifle, which you can get. Um, it's kind of a signature weapon, but it's ridiculously awesome. It can fully stop an elephant if you try. Oh shit, rabbit dog! I don't know what can't stop an elephant. This bloody gun. I dread to think how many bullets that cost me. Hmm. And now we can craft a fuel sling. That's not really what we wanted. What else can we craft? I'm probably going to have to do an episode where it's just me crafting. Well, like, looking looking for things I can hunt, crafting, getting, f like, free items and taking over areas. Just because, like, going out into the, into the world and exploring and hunting and crafting is essential to survive in this game, like... You saw I only have like one weapon pouch, so I can only carry this gun. We can we can upgrade it to four, but as of right now, if this thing runs out of ammo, I'm screwed. Why did I park the car so far into this bush? Anywho, off to Earnhardt. It's not this way, is it? No. Oh shit! Let's try and avoid this uh, little war going on behind that tree, apparently. Who knows? Cars don't tend to last me very long in this game. I have a habit of just driving them off the edge. The fact that I've made it this far is quite impressive by my standards. I usually have to walk the whole bloody way. So, hmm. Right, where are we going? Down here. Got a car going by. It's not an enemy car. I think one of them might be. Shit, yes it is. Keep going, keep going. Right. I think we outran them. Th no, they can't turn in time. It's not like Far Cry 2 where they will hunt you down for miles, which is kind of sad, because now they don't have turrets, so they won't just rip your car up instantly. 
So I would have actually enjoyed a chase nowadays. Oh well. Kind of makes the islands, like, getting around. It's it's fun, but there's no real danger until you get out of the car. And then all manner of big cat will come down upon you and rip your balls off. Right. We are coming up on the beach now. Getting... We're getting closer. This It's not the longest journey in the game by a long stretch. Oh shit. Right, let's go with the only way I know how. By blocking them in and... Oh, that was poor. Oh, now we're down. Right. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, good. Duck. Aim. Aim. Where is he? Somewhere in that bush? Apparently so. Success. Ish. And I'm going to take their car just because it looks fancy and it is red. No other good reason for that, but meh. Right, who have we got down there? It seems that we have a couple of enemies, oh, and a couple in the background there. And they have a couple of civilians, so let's try and save the civilians. Do a bit of vehicular manslaughter. Oh, crap. That wasn't meant to happen, but we got one of them, I guess. Let's come up with the next two. Let's see if we can get one of these. Oh, missed. Oh, yes. 10 XP there. Not bad. Two more. Handbrake. Could have been one more. I don't know. One more, I think. He's trying to shoot our windows right now. But he's got no car to follow us, so we are fine. Coming up to a radio tower now. We should probably get that radio tower, because if you can see by the radar, it's not telling us shit right now. It's just a lot of blue. And also, we might get a free weapon or two, and that might be beneficial to us. It could also be crap and a pistol or something, but who knows. I tend to stick with... Like, something explosive, a sniper rifle, and an assault rifle I like. So, and the bow. The bow is just awesome. It's not quite like Crisis 3 level of cheapness. Like, there's a lot you have to account for in terms of physics. But it's a great stealth weapon. It's like just roaming takedowns, basically. And the explosive uh, the explosive arrows are brilliant. Flaming arrows, not so much, which I'm kind of disappointed by. But explosive arrows can just take out anything. You have to craft them from your grenades. I'm not sure how you do that without killing yourself, but hey. And you craft the fire arrows from your Molotov cocktails. That's where we'll be heading down, down to that boat. Right, this is, again, it's quite an easy radio tower. There's no real puzzle to this. On the second down, they are ridiculous. Like, everything is broken, everything requires jumping to. Occasionally, you have a moment of, was I meant to go that way? In the same way you're doing something like... Mirror's Edge. I bring Mirror's Edge. I, I kick Mirror's Edge a lot, but I did kind of enjoy it. At least I enjoyed the first couple of missions before it kept you inside for the rest of the game. Figure that one out, even though it's a parkour game. Though, props to the train level. That was awesome in every sense of the word. Right, which way should we head down? This way, because there was a boat, and we seem to have unlocked a Scorpion, an AK-47, and a repair tool. We won't need the repair tool, just as a rule. Down. It can create fires, though. Done. Take his ammo. Let's see if there's anything in here that we need. Doesn't look it. Let's patch ourselves up, because we did take a few bullets there. Because we landed right behind a guy. Let's get this boat and head on out of here. The healing mechanic in a vehicle, well, the healing animation is just grim. <laughs> he has to bite a bullet out of himself. Though it doesn't make sense sometimes because you'll... It's the only one, so you'll drive off a few things and... Wait a second. I saw a relic back here, didn't I? I can't remember what my last train of thought was, so let's try and get this relic. And where is it? 
Hello? Mr. Relic? Oh shit, shit, go up, go up, go up. Right, we don't have deep dive yet, apparently. That's like a type of syringe. This is a perk which allows you to swim for longer. We got a glazed wall pack in seventy-two dollars, so that's a plus. Well, now where's this bloody relic? Oh no! Up, 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 up! Okay, attempt three. Here we go. It's got to be in there somewhere. I, I remember having trouble with this on my first playthrough as well, because it's gotten to that point where all I have to do is relics. Is there anything? Really? Come on! No crap! Up, 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 up! Right, back to the boat, back to the boat. Screw it, there's there's no point yet. We might get it one day at the end of the playthrough, we might get on, a, on another thing I've got planned. Stay tuned for that, guys, in many months, because this will be a very long playthrough. But anyway, we're at Earnhardt's Island. It's not really an island that, that belongs to Earnhardt, because there's clearly other people that have lived here at some point, but I'll shut up now. Now, how do we get up there? Try this way. Under the clothesline and... Okay, I shouldn't have even expected that to work. This isn't Oblivion Way, you can just like side strafe up a bloody mountain. Collect some of those, we might need them. Now we can get the fireproof recipe, which is the least logical recipe probably ever. Actually, it's a special one for to be invincible. Really, I think that just means you just like... That could just be PCP, when you think about it. Like, you could chop his arms off and he's just like, eh, it's fine, guys. I'm Jason Brody. I'm a vaguely shit version of Nathan Drake with a bit more money. I didn't like Jason Brody initially, not at all. Where are we going? Not that way, it seems. Right, there's the exclamation mark. We've nearly made it. Thank God. This journey has been really something. At last, we've arrived. At Dr. Earnhardt's lab. Slash mansion. Anyway, we'll be going in next time. So, until next time, see you now. Oh, shit, I've done it again, haven't I? Bye. Bye! <laughs>